Oh, hello! Welcome to uh, Camo Day, watching some te television. So I'm just kind of uh, just relaxing here, watching my television. Hey, hey, how are you doing, everybody? Wanted to uh, talk about something uh, kind of uh, annoying, kind of annoying, shall we say it? Uh, we want to talk about uh, this is my Roku setup here. Uh, these are some of the channels I have on Roku. As you can see, yeah, most of them I don't watch. I just subscribe to them. I do watch some of the local channels. I, I stay in tune with uh, Atlanta, you know, and a few other things because I, I kind of have the good memories of Athens. Anyway, so anyway, so uh, YouTube TV. I, we, my friend and I subscribe to it. I wouldn't subscribe to YouTube TV. I wouldn't if it was my decision. <clears throat> I wouldn't do it. I just, you know, I do like Turner Classic Movies. That's the only channel on there. But anyway, here we go. This is the big news. That uh, that a new price, more to watch. We've added eight channels, including Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, VH1, and more. Your base plan will change to $64.99 after July 29th. All right, I got it. I think I got it. How do I get out of that? I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh I got to hit this one. I, I always get these remotes mixed up. Anyway, as I said, um, if I was just decide, you know, first off, I don't need television. To be honest with you, regular old TV, I don't need it. I don't really need it. Uh, but I do fine without it. You know, I got I got my uh, computer over there. I I can watch just about everything I want on the computer. You know, there's streaming services. There's Pluto TV. There's a lot of cool things that are free. I can watch ABC News, CBS. There's CNN clips. There's If you want to watch the network TV newscast, you can watch them like a day later for free. They're all over the place. There's so much cool stuff to watch. And YouTube alone, just plain old YouTube. I mean, I'm pretty much watching that. So regular television isn't that big of a deal. But I, you know, I do like watching the evening news. I do sometimes like watching Jeopardy. I do like watching NFL football if it's available. Who knows if they're going to be doing it this year. <clears throat> so my friend, he likes his television. So we got a big 70-inch 4K out in the main room there that's his. I didn't pay for that. And we were looking around. I got basic, basic cable here, which is $30 a month. It's just the local Charlotte channels and the sub channels. And uh, there's a Morganton channel and all that. Anyway, <clears throat> in Morgan, we're in Morganton, North Carolina. Anyway, so yeah, and that's 30 bucks a month. And I get that because, I don't know, I just, I like having the basic networks. And I like MeTV because MeTV is on that, but it's not on YouTube TV. Anyway. YouTube TV, so he subscribes to YouTube TV, and we both pay for it. We pay halvesies, so it's about $50 a month, and I pay $25, he pays $25, which, again, I don't think that's terribly uh, outrageous. But anyway, so uh, they're raising the – they're adding eight channels, mainly channels from the Viacom, CBS family, and eight channels, and the price is going up $15 a month, which seems pretty hefty. Because that's, let's see, eight channels, $15 a month. That's almost $2 a channel. You know, it seems like a lot. I would say a $5 price hike might be more in order. But anyway, here's what we get. You know, we get the one thing I do like about YouTube TV is we do get the locals. Okay, the local CBS, ABC, NBC, Fox. Uh, we get, uh, you know, the local channels, WCCB, which is an indie, which has, uh, what's it? it's got CW on it. We get three PBS stations, which is kind of cool. And then we dive into some networks. Now, here's where it pisses me off. Right now, how many sports channels? ESPN, ESPN2, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. There are 18 sports channels on YouTube TV, and I would bet you that at least a third of the price of the cost for YouTube TV <clears throat> are those, thir well, those, how many ever I just said, th those many sports channels. And <clears throat> I'm telling you, right now, none of them are running... You know, they're all running old stuff. The MLB channel is there's no there's no content. There's no baseball this year. There you know the local sports channels. There's no content. They're running old games from years ago. Yeah, they're running they're running old. We're paying. I don't know. It's like out of the you know fifty dollars, probably at least fifteen or twenty of it goes for just the sports channels because those are expensive. 
uh, you know, and, and I don't, and honestly, I wish YouTube TV would do a, like a tiered service where, you know, if you don't want this, they should have like two or three different packages. One that, you know, I don't watch the kids channels. I don't watch the sports channels. Anyway, you know, and, and offer packages of channels. And then again, here's sport. Here are the kids channels. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Well, Cartoon Network is also for adults. Seven. Now they just added Nickelodeon, which I don't care. Okay, seven channels. So there's, you know, probably, you know, 20 plus channels there that I'm not ever going to watch. Okay. I wish they would have tiered services where, okay, you can buy this tier with everything. You can buy this tier that has, or this package that has, that doesn't have the sports channels or this package with no sports or kids channels or this package with, you know, give us different tiers or packages. You know, they don't do that. You know, they don't do that. I don't know. Then we got, here's what we get else, you know, all these other channels, CMT, CMT is another new edition, Comedy Central is another new edition, uh, we got, you know, FX, uh, what, is, MTV is another new edition, which I, you know, again, I miss the old MTV, Paramount's another new edition, I do like TCM, you know, I, I would, I would easily pay $25 a month for YouTube TV for just Turner Classic Movies, because I just love that channel. And they miss, they're still missing some good channels. The one channel I do like is Discovery Science Channel. They don't have that, although we do get the other, some of the other Discovery Networks. You know, so anyway, you know, then we get a bunch of news channels here. And, uh, of course, Fox News and CNN and MSNBC. And, and then they do give us a few of these uh, Diginets, like you get over the air, like Comet and Cozy. But we don't get... Um, we don't get um, ETV on this, so you know I got to subscribe to a basic cable for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know I think it's a bummer. They're adding eight channels and ch and jacking up the price fifteen dollars. That's that seems like a pretty steep price hike for fit for just eight channels. And most most of those eight channels, all of those eight channels, I'm not ever going to watch. So I think that's I think YouTube is going to lose a good amount of subscribers by doing this price hike. I really do. The the problem and the antenna man the antenna man guy the antenna TV guy. I watch him. He's got a good channel uh, on YouTube, and he said that he, he said something really smart. This is one of the channels I really do enjoy watching. Uh, antenna man. He's up in Pennsylvania. Uh, really good stuff here in his community page. Here he has a very good uh, thing. He goes the price of YouTube TV is going up from fifty. The 65 bucks I've said in most of my uh, streaming price increase video updates and I'll say it again the price of live streaming services will continue to go up as time goes on before you know it you're back where you started before you dropped cable paying a higher monthly bill for what is just mostly mindless entertainment this is why everybody needs to get a good antenna set up to end the madness once and for all learn to live without all the stupid mindless entertainment channels and I totally agree with him there I think he's very good point um, <clears throat> You know, they are coming out with a new thing called AS, ATSC3, which is a new television system that is being tested in some markets right now that will improve your, uh, if, you know, if you've used an antenna, you know, you know that it's a pain in the butt, that you always have to keep fiddling with it every time you change channels, especially if you have an indoor antenna and you have to put, you really need an, up, an outdoor antenna like on your roof if you can do that, but everybody can't do that. So you can get free TV, but you have to be in a place where you can get good antenna service. And again, with digital television, there's a lot of places that have spotty reception and you're not, you may get some channels, but not all the channels. And that's another problem. I'm, again, I'm not gonna get into all this stuff today, but if you, there are other, what they call over the top online services like YouTube TV that you can subscribe to, like, uh, like, uh, like uh, Sling, and I think there's one called Philo, and some others that are cheaper than YouTube TV, and they all have different mixes of channels, but one of the things they often lack are having the three or four, the four big American networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. You need to have local agreements with your local affiliates to get those four major networks and PBS. And a lot of those channels, a lot of those packages don't, they may have an NBC station, but they don't have ABC. You know, it's that kind of thing. So I don't know, you know, Hulu's the same way. Hulu, you know, as, as broadcast TV, they're throwing that, they're mixing that into the mix. Every, the price is just going to go way up on these things. I thumbs down for YouTube TVs and the, the, this price hike. I think it's way too high. Uh, you know, again, $15 for eight more channels and they're all, you know, most of them, most people aren't going to want to watch. 
YouTube needs to take their TV service and develop different packages and give people different price points, okay? Because this one service for $65, I think is going to really hurt them. The price is getting too high. Then what? At the end of the year, we're going to have a couple more channels and we're going to go up to 75 80 bucks, And all of a sudden, it's going to be the same damn price you were paying for cable. <laughs> Why you cut the cord in the first place? They're getting dangerously co close to... You know, getting people angry like, well, I cut the cable cord and now I'm now I'm paying for Netflix and YouTube TV and and Amazon and I'm already now paying as much as I was paying for cable. Thumbs down on the YouTube TV price hike. I would rather just say we're not giving you those channels. Keep your price at fifty dollars and I'd be fine with that. But again, I'm only paying half of it because my friend is ordering it. And again, if it was my choice, I wouldn't even get uh, YouTube TV because I don't it's just I don't have time to watch all these dopey channels. I don't, again, other than Turner Classic Movies and maybe it's some news and some, well, you, know, may, you know, maybe CNN or Fox. I don't know Fox News. I like to watch Fox News because it is kind of funny. But anyway, you know, and, and maybe ABC and some of the networks for some of their news and stuff coverage. Other than that, you know, thumbs down, YouTube TV. That was a mistake. The $15 price hike is just, it's going to scare a lot of people. It's going to cause a lot of cancellations, and I think that's what, they're, they're just going to be hurting. They're going to need to get to a plan where they deliver multiple packages and, uh, you know, whatever. Television is such a mess these days, isn't it? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. You know, if you, I, I take standard YouTube and an antenna, but here we're 70 miles from Charlotte, and we don't get antenna service real good. Although I get surprisingly good reception if I'm out by the window there, because there are a few repeater signals coming this way. But uh, but still, it's a pain. So anyway, that's it. YouTube TV thumbs down. Bummer. Price hike. Sucky additions. <laughs> Who cares? Who watches MTV anyway? Nobody over 20, I'll tell you that. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Blog Under.